hello everyone welcome back to our channel so today we are going on a road trip we'll be moving from Abuja to Makodi all right here we go Abuja to Makodi I'm not on this ride alone so I'm with my friend we are on a tour from Abuja to Makodi can you say hello hello everyone can't wait for you guys to actually see a wonderful experience ahead of us because right now we're moving from Abuja to Makodi exactly all right so here we go abuja to makodi i've been looking forward to this road trip it's always nice to escape the city for a bit you know definitely there's something about road trips that just resets your mind and with the weather today it looks like it's going to be a smooth ride yeah i pray so i don't need rain i don't <laughs> want rain <laughs> i just love the weather it's just mild and it's calm yeah and a perfect weather for a long drive it's just a perfect weather for a long drive plus the scenery of this route is underrated you start out with Abuja's hill and then move into all that greenery once you hit Nasara one i know right it's like you're watching the landscape change in real time and once we get past Kefi, it's all about those beautiful rolling hills and valleys. And here we are in Abuja Axis, where we'll be going from Abuja to Makodi. So you can see the road very beautiful and this road is, is newly constructed and has, has been commissioned. I think last year was commissioned last year and the road wow. is still here. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Wow. So I'm not here with Elon, as I said earlier, <laughs> I'm here with my friends. So what can you say about this road? Like I'm loving the smooth experience, like the road is very, very nice. I didn't expect it to be this nice. I was thinking some places would be bad, but man, this road is very, very nice. And the, the good thing about it is that it will be like this, you will reach Makoti. Like wow, the, yeah. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> <laughs> so it will be a very smooth <laughs> run in a very smooth ride yeah compared to uh, uh, other part of the country say the south has some bad road south i can't start mentioning the <laughs> the eight miles road the Kote Penuma here we not talk of Kalaba uh, uh, Calabar, Uyu Road, those are bad roads. When I say bad road, the roads wow. are very bad, terrible. Now, even uh, uh, even Makodi to Calabar, no, let me not say my Ugoja, Ugoja to Calabar Road also is also very bad. So when we talk about bad road, we, you, you know those south they have it, but compared to this road now, this is just so lovely, very lovely. Mm, very lovely. So it's going to be a smooth ride so far so here we are in abuja very soon we'll get to mararaba so from mararaba we'll get to kefi from kefi to uh which place again uh, uh that is nasarawa then from nasarawa we'll get to makodi so our journey will take us about uh, four hours four four hours drive wow. is everything goes well yeah it will be four hours drive so sit back stay tight as we continue our road trip so do you care about snacks or we'll get something along the road i think we'll get something along the road okay so guys stay tuned as we continue with our road trip we'll just be coming up to say one or two about the road so stay tuned please remember to give us a thumb up on this ride or on this video like our video and always share our video like comment and share the video and if you haven't subscribed do well to subscribe on this channel so that anytime we drop our video you can get notified okay, what can you say about those that don't subscribe to this channel <laughs> so those that does not subscribe to this channel i can guarantee you that there's a whole lot that you're going to miss because adventures we're going to go on adventures we're going to go on different um, different tours, we're going to go to different cities, explorations, and then if you don't subscribe to this channel, I guarantee you, you're going to miss a whole fun of that. So just subscribe to this channel and follow us more on this video. Thank you, and stay tuned as we continue our road trip. I know, right? It's like you're watching the landscape change in real time. And once we get past Kefi, it's all about those beautiful rolling hills and valleys. This stretch of road always surprises me. It's not too busy and the road 
quality is decent. It makes the drive pretty enjoyable. Though, of course, you have to keep an eye out for those crazy drivers. <laughs> <laughs> we always have them, yeah. Those crazy drivers. <laughs> True. You get that one guy who thinks it's a racetrack and then zooms past. And apart from that, it's all good. Hey, speaking of Nasaraba, have you ever stopped at those roadside markets? The fresh fruits, they are really amazing. Oh yeah, those pineapples and oranges are top tier. It's one of the peaks of driving through the smaller towns along this route. You get fresh produce at the source. We might just grab something for the road later. Definitely. And you know, there's this calmness in the rural areas. People are so laid back compared to the city. Sometimes it feels like time moves slower out there. Exactly. There is a simplicity to it that I really admire. It makes you think about how hectic city life can get sometimes. Out here is just the road, the sky and nature. Like wow, look at those markets. That's where you find the best yams and vegetables. Have you ever tried stopping by one of these local joints for a quick snack? Yeah, last time I had some suya oh. and a roadside store just outside KP. It was surprisingly good. These local spots are like hidden gems, plus everything made fresh. For sure. There's something about eating local food that just makes the trip more authentic. It adds to the whole road trip experience. Alright, here we are in Kefi. It's always get a bit busy around here, but once we are through, it's back to those long, quiet stretches of road. Yeah, Kefi is like the halfway point between Abuja and Makode. It's all I always think of it as that spot where you stop, refill, grab some snacks, and continue on. True, after Kefi, you really start to see more of Nazawa landscape. The terrain gets more dramatic with the hills and valleys. <laughs> yep, the further you go, the less urban it gets. That's when the real beauty of the countryside starts to unfold. Absolutely. Benue has its own rich culture, especially when it comes to food. The tea and Idoma people have some of the best traditional meals and their festivals are colorful. Have you tried the apangbe yam and the juicy soup? Oh my god, yeah, I have. And it's very delicious. Their soups are something else, so rich and flavorful. The portions too are very, very nice. <laughs> and they don't play around when it comes to food. Yeah, you never leave a Benway me hungry, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, you can tell from the increase in traffic. It's a small city actually, but it still has that vibrant energy. Yeah, Makodi's got its own charm. It's quieter than Abuja, but it's got a lot going on, especially with the university here. It's also the administrative hub of Benue, so you see a lot of government activities. And then there's the Benue River, of course. It gives the city a different feel. Something about living next to a river adds to the laid-back atmosphere. Yeah, it's like the whole city revolves around the river. I remember reading that Makodi was a key trading post back in the day because of its location along the river. Wow, that really makes sense. You can imagine boats carrying goods up and down the river. I bet that helps Benue become such a big agricultural state. This drive always reminds me of how much I love exploring Nigeria. There's so much to see, even just between two cities like Abuja and Makodi. Definitely, I can't wait to see more of what Makodi has to offer. But for now, let's just soak in this moment. Exactly. Here's tomorrow trips and new adventures. Yeah. Okay, so, so which which one would you from Makodi? Which one should we take? Which one should we go again? I want to the one Akwari. Okay. I really <laughs> want to explore that. Quickly. I've I've done I've done that. I've even made a video. Uh, Makodi to Akwari boom. It was really a long trip, a very wow. long journey. Yeah. So if you haven't watched that video, you can check through this channel, guys. Check through this channel. You will see Makodi to Uyo Akwaibum State. It was just a very long journey and it was tiring because oh, wow. I left very early and arrived late, late at night. It was about uh, 12 hours journey. You wow. can imagine that. Yeah. Wow. So uh, it wasn't funny. It was stressing and coupled with the bad roads wow. in uh, Inugu Axis. 
then no my hair axes we have bad spot there so it was tiring so i wouldn't love to do that <laughs> <laughs> for now at least for now <laughs> or maybe when we get to dry season yeah i will do that okay how about to uh Makodi to calabar i've actually never given a thought about calabar but then i'd want to go there okay so we'll do that in our next video Makodi to calabar that is cross river maybe from calabar we can get to a fight we still that same route okay that would be nice i think this is one of the best routes so far currently in nigeria one of the best federal roads so far because the road is so lovely smooth compared to when you enter south some place some state in south you will see bad roads and all that look at that view this part of the drive is always my favorite you can see for miles just fields and mountains it's coming exactly the countryside in this part of nigeria is so underrated people always talk about abuja or Divas, but there's so much beauty outside the cities exactly and as we move further into benue state the landscape shifts again more farmland more of open space benue is known as the food basket of the nation for a reason that's true so many agricultural products come out of benue I remember reading about the large-scale production of yams, cassava, and maize in this region. It's like you're driving through Nigerian's factory. Yeah, that's one one way to put it. Plus, Makodi is right along the Benue River, so you get all the fertile land around there too. No wonder the crops do so well here. The rural life out here is different. You can see people walking in the fields, and everyone seems connected to the land. It's refreshing to see that kind of lifestyle. It really is. And it's also a reminder of how diverse Nigeria is. From Abuja's urban hozo to the agricultural heartland of Benue. You get so many different perspectives on life in just one road trip. Exactly. And the cultural shift is noticeable too. As we get closer to Makodi, you can see the change in language, in traditions, and even the food. It's like every region has its own personality. There it is, Makodi Bridge. This view never wow. gets old. It's like the city becomes you the moment you cross the river. Yeah, there's something about bridges that feel like gateways into another world. The moment you cross over, you know you've arrived. Exactly. And now that we are here, I'm excited to see what the city is like at night. The river, the light, the people. It's going to be a different kind of vibe from Abuja. Exactly. And we'll have to grab some local food before we head back. Can't come to Benue without trying some of that pounded yam. <laughs> <laughs> of course, let's find a good spot once we are settled in. I'm sure there is plenty to choose from. Well, that was a smooth trip. Nice weather, mm. good conversation, and amazing scenery. Can't ask for more on a road trip. Yeah, this drive always reminds me of how much I love exploring Nigeria. There's so much to see, even just between two cities like Abuja and Makodi. It was actually lovely and a nice journey. So what do you think? Share in the comment section. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do well to click on the subscribe and the notification button so that anytime we drop a video, you can notify. Please like, comment, and mm -hmm. share this video. Okay, your last word. <laughs> I just think... You guys for following us in this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to follow us more for more videos thank you and see you in our next video bye bye